Hi Leo, welcome to your love connection reading for January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is intended for a connection you have with a person. We're going to get the energy between you and them and uh, clarify it with tarot. We're going to pull oracles, clarified with tarot, extra messages with this deck. So um, this has to be an actual connection. So you don't have to be married or exclusively dating but they have to know who you are and it has to be some sort of a mutual connection so we're going to see what we get here if you like somebody they have no clue who uh, you are you may want to watch the singles rating i do every month and maybe that will resonate for you so let's see what we have for leo so i hope everybody's doing well welcome welcome everybody happy early christmas merry early christmas happy new year if you celebrate the holidays so let's see what's going on with Leo in love at this time. This will be out before Christmas, so I say it's for at this time whenever you see this. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, um, your playlists are below in the description box. Also a ton of information down there, decks I'm using, social media. I do readings on Instagram. I have a Facebook page, Leo Sunlight Insight. Um, decks I'm using. Um, if you'd like to send a gift or donate or anything like that, reach out. If you want to reach out for personal reading, that is also below. So please feel free to check the description box. All right. So Leo, let's see what's going on in Leo in love at this time sphere. So this is Zodiac Oracle, so we could get sign element planet. See what we get. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. So can we have? That's two. I just want one one for leo in love at this time so we got cancer so we have cancer and they could have it somewhere heavily in their chart if they're not a cancer sun sign um but if they're not a cancer you don't know anyone is a cancer that's totally fine so let's see so what i'm going to do first here um leo is i'm going to use this deck to get an overall love energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. For Leo in love at this time. Leo in love at this time. Love connection. What is the energy between Leo and whoever they're thinking about at this time? Spirit, please. I'm going to think that one. So we have the Five of Cups energy. So this is about feeling, it says change your focus. So, um, but the five of cups energy and that is water and that's cancer right there. So the five of cups energy is about that feeling, a feeling like sad, feeling loss, um, hurt, sadness, but needing to change your focus. So we'll see what's going on here. So let's see what's going on for you, Leo. So let's get a card for you and your person, how you're feeling about each other how you're feeling about the connection. All right, so let's get one more. So Leo, I'm gonna put you here and your person here. But if at any time you feel like the energies are switched during the reading, please do that. You know how tower works. Switch, full flop the energies anytime you see fit and only take what resonates, throw away the rest. So let's see how you're feeling, Leo. So we got choose your battle. So this is a seven of wands energy. So this can be, you know, being defensive against this person or standing up and fighting for the connection. So we'll see how um, this plays out. And they have Embrace. So this is about cycles uh, completing and new cycles starting, a whole new world. This is the world energy. So your person is feeling they could be ready for like a whole new cycle with you or this could be something closing out. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get more energy. We'll get more tarot. Clarify the situation here. Let's see what's on the bottom. So we got the seven of um, swords energy. It says seek the truth, but this is air energy. So the seven of swords to me is always about um, like either sneaking away or it's like a not. Sometimes it can be about lies, deceit, sneaky energy or some or an energy of somebody just like sneaking away um, from a situation. So uh, we'll see what's going on here, Leo. We'll see what's going on here for you, Leo. What's going on here with Leo? In this love connection, 
what's going on with Leo and this love connection spirit, please. Thank you so much. At this time, let's clarify. We're going to clarify uh, these two cards and then extra. Um, so we're going to get like four cards here. So why is choose your battles here for Leo spirit, please? Okay. All right. So we have, yep, the seven of wands on the seven of wands. Holy crap, Leo. You're double defensive and on guard against this person. Like you got your shield up and you're like, yep, nope. Total blockage here. And your person has the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe they were taking too long, taking too slow. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles is about, you know, taking action movement forward, but it's very slow. Uh, they're very s smart, practical. Um, we got Earth energy here. So it could be they were taking too long, maybe to close out a chapter, a cycle in their life, so they could start with new, you with new, uh, new with you. And maybe, you know, you were like just wanting the truth from them, like what's going on in your life? What are you doing? You know, are we going to be together in the future? Feeling sad, hurt, and lonely because, you know, maybe there was no communication. And I feel like finally you're just like, you know what? I had enough putting up that defense, that guard, and saying, and maybe you totally blocked them out of your life because they were just like taking too long. I don't know. Let's clarify here. Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning in love. Yeah, you wanted this brand new beginning in love with this person. Now we got that water energy. You're like, you know, I want this brand new beginning with you, but you're taking too long. You're dragging your feet. You're taking too long to close out something in your life so we can come together. It's like taking forever here, and I don't know the truth. I don't know what's going on. Feeling sad and hurt over this, but finally deciding, changing your focus, and like, you know what? Block, 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 block. Putting up your defenses in your guard. Maybe totally blocking this person. Wow. All right. So let's see for your person over here. Let's get another clarifier. Justice. Yeah, so they could have been going through a divorce here. Something in the court. Or, you know, leaving a long-term long relationship. And you're like, you know, so is it happening? What's going on? It's taking forever. It's, you know, pentacles can be like years <laughs> to me. Um, maybe you waited a year or more for this person cups. Well, cups is like months, but, um, you know, maybe you, you just waited and waited and with the justice there, you know, maybe they're like, oh yeah, I'm getting divorced and then we could be together, but it's taking like forever here. And I feel like you just finally blocked them and said, you know what? I'm done waiting. All right. So let's see the actual situation. The Empress. Yeah. Knowing your power, your worth, your value. Standing in your empress energy. I don't know if you got pregnant from this person. Because she is pregnant here. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get. That's way too many. It's way too many. Let's get a couple more here for the actual situation. The page of pentacles. And the magician. Wow. So. So they got the magician on their side, which is about, you know, manifesting a brand new beginning. So I think that's what they wanted, but I think they just were taking too long. And the page of pentacles is about communication. Um, very slow. It's stable though and grounded. Um, I think this person means well. They're just very slow, practical. They think things through thoroughly. Um, and I think, you know, they want to manifest this new beginning with you, but I, I just think they were taking forever here. And you just finally, you know, said, you know what? I know my worth, my value, and I'm done waiting. I want this cup of love with you, but wanted to manifest, but it's just taking too long. Waiting for that page of pentacle offer to come in, which can take years, so... All right, so let's get a couple more to clarify here. Queen of Cups. So is that water energy again? So I definitely feel like Queen of Cups on the Ace of Cups. Definitely, you you know, felt like you loved this person at one time. You know, you had deep feelings and emotions for them. You wanted this brand new divinely guided to be getting in love. But I do feel like they just took too long. Took too long. All right, so you try to manifest this with them. I feel like they do want it with you. Maybe they're not telling you that yet. The 
King of Wands. So now we got fire energy here. So they are fiery, passionate. Um, that is fiery, passionate go getter energy, yet they're moving in the Knight of Pentacle energy. So, I mean, it's like they want it, and maybe you had a very passionate time with this person, but you're like, you know what, I'm tired of just the passion. Um, I want more, and it's just, you know, more than just the passion, it's just taking too long. Oh boy, okay. So let's get some advice for you, Leo, in this connection. Advice for Leo. Six of Cups. So this is definitely soulmate energy here. You could have had past lives with this person or you've known them um, since childhood or a very long time. You know, thinking back, fond memories, nostalgia. All right. So again, with the children. So, I mean, you could have had a child with this person or you could have became pregnant. And you're waiting for them to do the right thing. And it's just taking them forever. I feel like they're still attached to something else. Whether it's another marriage or just another relationship or something. And they're just taking too long. Alright, so let's get one more. Knight of Wands. Yeah, so they're... They have the King... I feel like the King of Wands like mentality, energy. But yet they're only coming through as two... Their action is only in the Knight energy. So I feel like they're taking forever to give you more, to, you know, level up in this connection. Could be, you know, a very passionate, passionate in and out time here. And could have been a child involved here. Oh boy, that's, so this is actually your advice. So, <laughs> uh, so in the Wheel of Fortune. So this is fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction. You know, so, I mean, that's a good energy with the Wheel of Fortune, though. So things may get better. You know, maybe you have been waiting for them to do the right thing for a very long time. And you're, you know, really getting tired, putting up your defenses. And maybe you did block them. And maybe by blocking them, now they're realizing, like, oh, my God, I'm going to lose this person. So they may actually, you know, with the magician here, actually, you know get a fire and maybe you're getting a fire under their ass and, and now they're like okay um because the knight of wands is about you know fiery passionate action movement forward but it can be player in and out not a player but just maybe flaky in and out energy i don't know let's get one more this is your advice so so i feel like if you feel like this is your soulmate, if you did have a child with this person, and they do do come in and out, the Wheel of Fortune is here, though, to make things better, make things go in a better direction. So let's get one more for Leo for this advice. One more. Queen of Swords. So, yeah, this is true clarity, telling it like it is. This is also, to me, always, like, the sword energy is also, to me, like, divine energy. So I feel like here by standing in your truth and your power and saying, you know what, I'm like just about done. I'm ready just to cut you out of my life. I'm blocking you. Um, either you come through, you do what's right and we're together, or I'm taking the sword, cutting you out. No more player in and out energy. You know, even, you know, because maybe you did have a child. And I think it'll get everything turning here in a better direction. So you may just have to... Um, stand your ground and just kind of maybe if you haven't blocked them just block them and say you know what i'm done either you do what's right and this moves forward like now or i'm just done and i think it's going to light a fire under their butt especially if you had a child with them you could have a child that's like six so i mean you could you know in and out with them for like a very long time here all right so let's get your possible outcome with this person so we got the Five of Swords energy. So, I mean, she looks like she's been stabbed in the back here. So, I mean, that's an energy of feeling like betrayed, uh, feeling like down for the count. Like maybe this situation is just defeated um, kind of energy. So let's see why this is here. So we got the Six of Wands. So this is success, victory, things, you know, getting better. So... 
I think the outcome is going to be is you're going to feel like, you know, you're going to feel sat, hurt, stabbed in the back, maybe by standing your guard, telling them, them like it is, and just saying, you know, that's it, I'm done, cutting you off, blocking you, no more. Then all of a sudden it's going to light a fire under their ass. And now look at this, you got success, victory, uh, accomplishment. Now they are like standing up and they're ready, coming forward. Wands is a fiery, passionate um, energy. So let's get one more. Page of Wands. So there's the communication. Good news coming in. So yeah, I feel like you're going to have to block them. You're really going to have to stand up to them. And uh, and maybe they may feel this way. Stabbed in the back, hurt. Like, oh my God, I'm losing my person. And all of a sudden they come rushing in with communication, good news. That, okay, I'm finally filing for divorce. I left my person or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, I've left this, that behind. I'm ready to start new with you. Because, you know, they're changing their focus now on you. And they're going to tell you the truth. And uh, I see success and victory there. So look at that. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. Brand new, fiery, passionate beginning. So I think you will get your brand new beginning in love and passion. Here, very exciting. That's fire energy. Ten of swords. So, yeah, they're going to have to end things here. You know, and they may feel by you ending it and cutting them off, they're going to feel this way too. Again, what's stabbed in the back, hurt, like, oh my God, it's done, it's over. And now they want to work together on this. They want to work together with the Three of Pentacles energy. They want to make plans, decisions for the future moving forward. They're going to come rushing in with the Knight of Swords energy, with truth, clarity, the truth. They're going to tell you the truth. Rush then come rushing in. The unknown, yeah, so I feel like, you know, they don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen, you know, by taking these actions. But there they come in, rushing in on their night, on their horse with their cup of love. Love offers chariot moving very quickly, very quickly with you to you. Speaking with truth and clarity with the page of swords. Equal give and take with the six of pentacles, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Wow. Emperor taking charge, taking the lead. Yep, wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, Six of Pentacles, balance, give and take, rushing in, speaking with truth and clarity. The chariot moving forward victoriously with their cup of love. Not knowing how things are going to turn out, but they're going to rush in here and uh, want to make plans for moving forward, working together. They don't want to lose you, don't want this to end. Fiery, brand new uh, beginning in passion and love here. So, wow. For the signs, I see, uh, let's see here. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Aries, Sag, uh, Sag, let's see. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, again, um, Earth energy over here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I mean, we have all the signs here, so they could be anybody. All the signs came out, so doesn't really matter. It's all just energy, so, okay. So, Leo, I'm going to get some um, extra messages for you with this deck. So, I do ask Leo if you like my energy, how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on my readings. I do a lot of readings. I do um, Love Connection. I do Singles, Who's Coming Towards You. I do um, sort of like a general tarot forecast. Sometimes it's about love, sometimes not. I do an Angel Messages, different kind of um, spiritual messages readings. Sometimes they're Angel card readings or they're spiritual uh, messages, what you need to know from Spirit. So bonus readings. So you hit the bell and you don't miss out thank you and to thank you to everybody for all their support you've given the channel whether you've um subscribed donated reached out for personal reading sent a gift anything here is truly appreciated so let's see what we have here alignment so and there's the sword so again i feel like by using that sword things are going to come into alignment with you and your person here and one and four is five is change so I think by using this sword of truth and clarity and saying, no, I'm done and cutting them off, blocking them, uh, 
things will come into alignment for the two of you and you will have this brand new beginning based on truth and clarity and success and victory with that sword energy. And change. That's the change. Things coming into alignment. So you have two fives here, which is about change. So I think once the focus is changed, um, things are going to become aligned here. So let's see. Are there any other messages? So manifestation. And we did have the magician there. And we got 25, which is 7, which is a very spiritually, divinely guided number. So, yeah, I think this finally is going to manifest for you. Um, things will come to light. People will see the light. And this will manifest. But I think you're going to have to use that sword. Use that sword. And uh, this is going to happen. So let's see what else. Variants. And we have 39, which is 12, which reduces to 3. is about working together. So variance here is about, um, you know, variety, uh, options, um, expanding, you know, different things. So, I don't know, let me read a little bit about that variance, number 39. Let's see. Uh, I just want to read a little snippet. Um, today you may not feel like yourself. You and your soul are looking at the same thing but are seeing it differently. Your emotions and reactions are a combination of your thoughts and your soul's thoughts. And when, they're, when, and when they don't align, and we had alignment right there, wow, um, you'll feel wobbly. Variance is a way of explaining the wobble. When you have the same perspective as your soul, things feel right. They may seem satisfactory and easy. No limiting beliefs or patterns are triggered, but there is a feeling that all is well. Your soul will never join you in judgment, blame, or hurt because it is not the truth of you. It is not the perspective of love. How you feel reveals how aligned you are with your soul. If you are experiencing something that doesn't feel quite right, take a breath and come back to your center you will begin to feel better, inspired to navigate your inner radar and ready to receive your soul's transmission. So again, navigating your radar. And I feel like it's using that sword. And that may, variance may be, you know, something you never did before. You know, maybe you've just been waiting and waiting and now it's like, you know what? Uh, I'm ready to use this sword here. And on the bottom we have 26 here. That's like a Piss kiss at 26 is eight and eight is about, you know, action, travel, communication. And I'm not even sure what that is. So let me, 26, let me read um, a little bit about that. The outside world feels more real than inner world because we have been encouraged to focus more on what is outside of us. We have learned to give things that can be seen by others or touched by us more importance than we feel. Making decisions can become difficult. Wow. <laughs> when our awareness is focused away from our inner needs and wants. When our internal and external realities are integrated, decisions are clear and easily made. Wow. This leads to satisfaction as there is no resistance to your fulfillment. And we have that wish fulfillment. When we scan the myriad possibilities open to us, in the manifested world, and we had manifestation twice here. Wow. Um, we will know what we want and will not feel overwhelmed. In this space, we become grateful for the decisions we have made and all the ones we will make in the future. Wow. So, yeah, feeling, yep, exactly. That's the energy here. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo. So, best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.